Hello Aquarius and welcome to your um, <clears throat> gemstone and moonstone reading for the week of August um, 22nd. Um, I apologize if I'm a little crackly, it's just <laughs> I've been, um, I have a really bad headache today and I'm really trying to focus so um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this reading too is pull a in, uh, tarot angel spiritual card to tie in with the reading or let's see if there's a separate message too. And the beautiful cards, I <clears throat> haven't used them much before, but they've been working well for the prior reading, so I, I love them. Um, so let's get on with your reading here. And okay, Aquarius. <sighs> okay, what is in the middle and is really, really in focus and it's really, really speaking is um, these this, this is telling me that the issues we're just going to be talking about are that it's a it's like a, a a cycle and it could be going on like a year or it's been going on a year it's just like a cycle you know the branding cycle and the, uh, it's also screaming for the need to evolve and change some things that's what it's saying um, here and then as we move along here it's saying like there, this is um, I. This is the. This is saying there's no change, and it's there's a need for change and inertia. But at the same time, this could be frustrating because you want change, or there is a sense that some of you subconsciously are um, creating some blockages for yourself. Yes, you could be saying, um, if I had more money, I could do this, or if I did this or this. But there's always a way out of things if you really. Um, want to you know what I mean it's kind of creating excuses that's a possibility not for all of you for some of you that's the feel that I'm getting here too and it's also saying you know protect what's yours but at the same time um, have some kind of courage and belief you know um, to to change some stagnant areas in your life because when we're coming down here here it is um, and it's on the side, and that's Thorn, and it's telling me um, subconsciously, again, subconsciously, it, um, you're creating in, um, inhibitions and blockages for yourself, and this is really in your mind, and kind of making excuses to, um, to move forward, or make some kind of action, or make things come in, but at the same time, it doesn't mean you are, there could be some very frustrating situations in your life that, um, is beyond your control and you really can't um, um, change. But there is a sense of you bringing in that kind of energy to or a uh, feeling of giving up and um, you shouldn't. The message is you should not. So as we go along here, then we got this, um, uh, it's coming later on and it's, it's not in focus yet, but or it's something that you're trying, you're in denial about or trying to put on the side. Is partnership issues, joint finances, it could deal with children, it could deal with um, maybe even inheritance, money could be involved, or waiting on some kind of settlement. I think I've been seeing that for Aquarius too for a while, some kind of settlement, which is um, interesting. And at the same time, you know, that we got these in inhibitations here, and um, speaking of this, so this is also saying that there are some people out there and some kind of um, a help that's wanting to come in but then again there's some kind of negative energy here it's back and forth back and talk or you could be debating with someone or something this could be um, telling me that this that's a feel I get on this is that there is um, some of you may not be happy in your partnerships or in your lifestyle right now or the people who are living with you or or who are not living with you. It's just there are some things that you want to change or you are waiting for, but at the same time, it's saying that you are creating some blockages for yourself. If it's not only in the head, um, if it's not if it's not um, actual blockages, you know, you, it's in the head or you're just being negative about it. Um, so there's, it's like a cycle going on and on. So it's saying it just really needs to change. And that is the really only specific message that's coming through here so um yeah you know it's 
there is a need to evolve and change. And yes, I know that some of you could feel stagnant or you could have these issues, but at the same time, um, your energy, you could be putting it out there and creating excuses and blockages for yourself, which would be nice if you could change that because there is help, there is help or there is something waiting out there, you know? Um, and it's positive. It's just if you would only allow or let go of some excuses or a look for ways, you know, there's always a way, um, for breakthrough. Now, if there's someone that's ill or maybe, some of you have been feeling this way because maybe someone has recently passed or there's been lots of breakdowns and a lot of um, issues or problems in your life, but you got to have faith and you got to keep going. That's the specific message, not for everyone. At the same time, it could be telling me that you, some of you could be traveling um, and dealing with some kind of um, partnership or joint finances or something that you had jointly owned with someone or something. That is a specific message just for some, not all of you. So that is what's coming through here. And I'm going to pull cards, see what else can tie in with the reading. Okay. All right. And you got the nine of fire. These cards are really scary. They've been really tying in with the readings, with every reading so far. And the nine of fire says, don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Have courage and believe in yourself. And I think we've been seeing a lot of that in, um, in this um, reading. Another side of this also, you know, is also saying, you know, let go of some of those, uh, let go of some of those worries, let go of some of that, um, self doubt and that, and just let be a little bit open and, uh, free flowing. That's the subconscious energy that we're picking up mostly in this reading. The subconscious self really came out in this one. So, um, Aquarius, um, I hope you enjoyed your reading again. I apologize. Um, I've got a migraine <laughs> trying to focus. Um, I posted the tarot card readings yesterday, so if you didn't see those, check them out. I'll be posting the coffee cup readings tomorrow as usual, so check those out. And please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, and have a great week. Bye.